we have a brand new situation on our hands. I feel like every single year I'm doing one of these videos because there's always something that happens with this team. There's always something in question with the Philadelphia Eagles. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Anthony. I'm Sacred Eagle. This is a little Philly special podcast. Little t little introduction tidbit because, for one, it's a one take. I'm walking around. I'm doing my normal thing. I'm not doing this the way I thought I would. But I really wanted to talk about this because... All the talk about the Eagles' new offense, 95% of it being Kellen Moore's offense. What is Nick Sirianni's role? Jalen Hurts' comments about Nick Sirianni. It's all leaving a bad taste in the mouth because, well, let's be real here. Did we not think this was going to happen? Did we not expect Nick Sirianni to be the biggest question mark of the Eagles' 2024 season? There's so much talent on this team. There's so much that potential for this team to go on some sort of a miracle Super Bowl run, right? That's what we're expecting. That's what we believe, given the way the draft went, signing back Devontae and AJ, getting Saquon Barkley, getting De Devin White and a lot of other pieces on the defense, bringing back CJ Gardner-Johnson, you, you name it. Nick Sirianni, right now, is the poster boy for everything going wrong with this team. Because 2023 happened. And after Steichen left, seeing the, the massive drop that this team has gone on, especially in December, when it mattered most, it makes you really wonder. It makes you really question everything you know. And then you hear all the news about Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore getting the job. His offense is going to be, he's going to be in full control of this offense. This is all going to run through him. Nick Sirianni has nothing to do with it. 95% of it is Nick Sirianni, is, uh, is Kellen, Kellen Moore's offense. And listen, I'm okay with it. The man averages over 30-something points a season. He does tremendous stuff with his talent, whether it's in Dallas or in LA. That's neither here nor there. It's the problem with the head coach. Jalen Hurts was asked questions. Easy questions to try and get a sort sort get a get an idea on how he and the team feel about Sirianni and him being open minded, him being, you know, open to change with this offense and making it run better, making the team better, just in different ways. And he didn't really give the most convincing of responses. And this is where the issue lies. And that Nick Sirianni is not suited for his job. That's the whole general consensus at this very moment. And I always go back to it. I always go back to 2020 because one bad year three years removed from a Super Bowl, we decided to fire Doug Peterson. And I understand the whole Carson Wentz drama that really overshadowed that firing, that decision to let him go and go for Nick Sirianni. It's, it's understandable. It's understandable to think that that wasn't the biggest problem, that the, the coach can fix easily what was wrong with the 2020 team. And, you can say in a way it did, but look at the problems that are arising right now. Look at the way that 2023 ended and where we're at right now and questioning everything about this head coach's um, role in leading this team. So, like, it's not something to be excited about. It's something to be worried about, and that's a shame given how much potential this team has, how much this team can give us this year, given the schedule, given the draft, given the talent that's already there. Your biggest mistake is really letting go of Hassan Reddick, but you bring in other guys like Bryce Huff and White and CJ Gardner-Johnson. This, this team doesn't look half bad on paper. And we said that last year, but Nick Sirianni isn't, isn't in charge, not anymore. And that makes you question him and his role and also how his uh, 
players are going to respond and how his players are going to, you know, be motivated. And that's kind of what he's now there for is just being the motivation speaker because what else is he good for? We don't know what his role is. He's just kind of there. And that's really weird. If the Eagles don't make a run, if they aren't successful enough, I could definitely see him being completely scapegoated out of here because it should have already happened. <laughs> he should have already been gone given how last year ended. It's one thing to win a Super Bowl and then three years later regress to a point that you don't recognize the team and get fired. You can kind of make sense of that with 2020 and Doug Peterson. But to see a Super Bowl team play like a Super Bowl team and then fall flat on their face doing the exact same things over and over and over and over. And your players have no fight. They have no dog in them. You know that dog that Nick Sirianni talks about? They had none of that when the Niners were running laps on Lincoln Financial Field. They had none of that when they went to Dallas and got smack, uh, smacked around. You know, like, that's all Nick Sirianni. And now he's been, now the keys are taken out of his hands and handed to Kellen Moore and Howie Roseman. We just got to see what happens. And really, I don't know how I feel about this whole response to the questions about Nick Sirianni. Because realistically, what am I supposed to say about Nick Sirianni? I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he does. He's just kind of there. Is what it is.